G'day everyone, Space Jesus here. Um, making a quick video to uh, answer a question I get asked quite a lot. Can you see the lunar landers with that telescope? And explain some of the science behind it. Well, the short answer is no. Um, disappointed as you may be, I can reassure you, we did actually land there. So you can take off the tinfoil hats. There's no NASA cover up, it's all good. Now, to explain why we can't see it, it comes down to one thing. Resolution. We all know resolution basically comes down to image quality and clarity. Just like if you were to watch this video on YouTube in 144p, it'd be really blurry and grainy and you wouldn't be able to make out much detail at all. Compare that to something like 4K, where you'd see every pore on my face. Telescopes have resolution, but unlike a YouTube video, you can't change the resolution with a click of a button. The resolution of a telescope is dependent on its aperture or the diameter of its main mirror. And the larger the aperture, the higher the resolution. Well, why can't this 12 inch Dobsonian see it? It's almost as big as me. How big do we need to go? To put things into perspective, we need to take into account a few factors here. The moon is 384,400 kilometers away from us. And how do we know that? Because we shot fucking lasers at it. Now the size of the Apollo 11 lander capsule is about four meters across. Comparatively, we would be trying to look for a 20 cent coin in Port Hedland from Perth. The Hubble Space Telescope has an aperture of about 2.4 meters. Looking at the moon, it has a resolution of about 42 meters. So if the Hubble were to take a picture of the moon, one pixel would represent 42 meters across. Now, remember, the Apollo 11 capsule is four meters across. So we are still nowhere close to seeing it, even with the Hubble Space Telescope. But we have those massive observatories on Earth that are bigger than the Hubble. Yes, yes we do. The GTC uh, is a telescope in the Canary Islands and it has an aperture of 10.4 meters. That's just under four times bigger than the aperture of the Hubble Space Telescope. Even at that size, the resolution of the GTC when pointed at the moon is only about 20 meters. So we're still way out of the ballpark. Then you throw in the earthbound issues of atmospheric turbulence that can distort an image. Fortunately, the Hubble Space Telescope being out in space hasn't got to deal with this. So at this point, we have two options. We can go bigger, or get closer. To build a telescope with an aperture large enough to view the lander from Earth would require an astronomical budget. Astronomers and astrophysicists have much more important work to be doing than wasting their budget on a telescope large enough to confirm to a bunch of cynics that we actually have on the moon. So, we take option two, get closer. And we did. On June 18th, 2019, NASA launched the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or the LRO. The LRO can orbit the moon from anywhere between 20 to 160 kilometers above its surface. Even with a much smaller camera on board, at its closest approach, the LRO has a resolution of 0.5 meters. This is more than enough resolution to be able to capture the details of the lander and even see the shadows of the flag late in the afternoon. Hopefully this has shed some light on why we can't see the landers from Earth. Um, we're simply too far away and comparatively, we're looking through potatoes. Cheers. Clear skies to all.